For the three? Yeah! Ah! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the, uh... See, that's how I usually start things off. But, uh, not today. Not today. Um, today is just a video of an update. Kind of, uh basketball update of what i've seen over the last three weeks if you don't know my name is craig smith i run for the three hoops uh for the three i do recaps and player highlights and twitter stuff all that crazy stuff in this basketball media spectrum that we're all in i'm just gonna go through the recaps that i have uh lake highlands faith family uh faith family i think is going to Run through for a basketball onto another state championship. Uh, I don't think there's a 4A team that's as good as them, uh, guard wise or big man wise. Jaden Toppin, Dorian, Onwu Chekwa, Jazz. I mean, they they have it all. They have it all. Guards, bigs. They can do everything. Uh, they they can shoot it. They can do everything. It was a good game. They played Lake Highlands. It was a good game. That this is at the Gasso Showcase. That was at Mass Field uh, Field House, uh, Hillcrest. Played Mansfield Legacy, Hillcrest, lost King Grace, King Grace transferred. Mike Williams, they had Mike Williams, this is before he broke his wrist. Uh, man, it's, some people say uh, six to eight weeks. Hopefully he's not out the whole season because I heard it was bad. Um, but they still have a lot of talent. They have two bigs, Nacha brothers. Coach Keelan Jones, really good coach, love his energy. Last time I was on the phone with him, I was just bragging to him. Love to play for that guy because of his energy alone. Loves his kids. The players they have, uh, Nate Magadori, Jed Nancha, and Israel Nancha, Trey Mergerson, Kurt Thomas Jr., I believe. They still have a good team. They just have to uh, put it together and figure it all out because Mike Williams is, is 16 to 17 points a game um and they lost that uh I believe a week and a half ago to lake highlands he had 16 points at the time he got hurt mansfield legacy isaiah manning and then they have guys that can just flat out play around him um and you know sorry that's my dogs they're gonna be doing that a lot every high school in mansfield always has a very tough team they play tough they defend tough and they score and they get to it od wyatt plays silver springs uh miles rigsby going to Troy, Sulphur Springs, just has a lot of dudes that can play. Branson, Parker, always get his name wrong. Always get his name wrong. Always say it wrong. Cordrick Turner, kid that is vastly underrated, under recruited. Man, he's good. He's good. He he played behind uh played behind Justin Air last year. Um, he's seen a lot of bigs come through Sulphur Springs, and he's got to see a lot of good bigs play. And then they have uh, Malachi Miles. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Theo McKelvey. Sulphur Springs, I'm going to watch them when they play Pinkston. That was a good game. Keller, Parker Hanna. Parker Hanna and uh, Brooks Barr, both big-time guards. Parker Hanna has committed to McNeese. Um, Parker Hanna is a big-time bucket, and he's always going to let you know when he gets a bucket. I'm going to go watch them when they play uh, Denton Geyer and, like, Eight days. <coughs> who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, John Paul Lancaster. Uh, this was at, uh, shout out to Marcus Sloan, Big Sloan, at, at Big Sloan on Twitter. Uh, the DFW OTR tip off. Um, John Paul Lancaster. Lancaster features Dylan Batte and Kay Davis. Kay Davis going to UTA next year. Dylan Batte, if you know Tony Batte, Dylan is his son. Big time. Big time kid. Uh, John Paul has a lot of underclassmen, one of them being Bryson McLaughlin. Laughlin, long, lanky, can shoot the ball, can dribble it. Got a very high ceiling. Preston Wood, Lake Highlands. This was at the Cowtown tip-off. Very good game. We got to see Jalen Shelley. And then the big for Preston Wood. I don't want to get his last name wrong because I will butcher it. Francis Chuck Wadabellu. I'm pretty sure that's right. And then uh, you have Jalen Shelley is a very high-rated kid. Transferred over there from, I believe, Lone Star. I believe he went to Frisco Lone Star last year. Played for Pro Skills. Very good game. And then we got to see Spring Creek Academy versus Big Time Sports. Spring Creek Academy. Nazar Muhammad. Mahmood. I hope I'm getting it right because I messed it up on Instagram and I will not do you like that again. Uh, kid is a bucket. Transferred over here from uh houston i believe houston area he is a bucket can really shoot the ball can really shoot the ball if if you're not gonna key in on him during a game you're going to get massacred because he can really put a bucket on your head again another uh otr game big sloan event pinkston versus 
Legacy School of Sports Science. Um, the Legacy School is uh, Mason Howell, Corey Skillman, Fred Payne, who's going to Boston College. Monster Bucket Getter again. We is a, I'm gonna say uh, a lot of these kids can get a bucket because a lot of them can. Uh, Corey Skillman can really shoot the shit out of the ball. Uh, Mason Howell is a great point guard. Can really run a team. And then I went to see uh, Frisco Memorial and Mansfield Summit. Frisco Memorial is Drew Steffi, Texas Tech commit. Uh, Leon Horner are the returning big time players for them. You know, they lost Avery Jackson. They lost Woo Jack. And they lost Isaiah Foster um, from their big time team they had last year. Memorial still figuring it out a little bit. And it's going to take time, I believe. But I think by, by district time i think they'll be really good uh once they figure it all out uh because when you lose three key guys from a team that almost went to the state semifinals last year it's gonna be a learning curve mansfield summit david terrell um who's going to ut rio grande i believe and then the other one that had a big time game his name is richard Lamboy, Mansfield Summit. He plays the big man, probably six foot, six one. I'll give him six one, maybe. But he's a freak athlete. Can jump out of the gym. He had four big time dunks in that game. Just an absolute highlight reel. We got to see Byron Nelson at the Cowtown tip off. Play McKinney. Byron Nelson. Finley Bizjack. Connor Lindsay. Um McKinney is Jackson Seal, big man. Malachi, another guard that they have, is really good. But uh Byron Nelson, uh if Finley Biz Jack gets going on you, it's going to be a long night. Um, and he seems to do that to everyone he gets going. Got to see Allen versus South Grand Prairie. Man, I'm sorry. I sound like I'm losing my voice. Whoa, I missed my mouth. All right, back to it. South Grand Prairie versus Allen. South Grand Prairie has two sophomores, Cameron Carroll and Marquise Young, who are probably the best players on their team. They're both young, but they play very grown-up basketball. Cam Carroll is a really good shooter, can get to the rim, combo guard. Uh, Marquise Young is probably an undersized big man, uh, but he controlled the paint in that game. Allen is Trent Payne, Femi, Spitzer, Caden. All those guys can really ball. They just played a big-time team that night, and they uh, they lost that game, but they'll get better. Um, they have a tough district. Um, and then we move on to Geyer. And Richardson. Richardson features Tim Timmy Jordan. Uh Rustin Griffin, who is uh Ryland's little brother. Pharaoh Amadi um is another one of their big time players. They played a tough Geyer team. You know, at the beginning of the season, Geyer lost Jordan and Jeremiah. They both transferred to uh prep schools. Sometimes things don't work out. Well, Jeremiah was the first one to come back, and then Jordan came back. When I heard Jeremiah was coming back, I said, I think that probably He's on the phone with Jordan saying, hey, come back. Let's run this thing back. Jordan and Jeremiah are both big-time basketball players. They're both sophomores, so they have a lot of time to do the prep thing if they want to. Uh, eventually, they have another uh, player in Silas Rodriguez who's a freshman, 6'3". Um, the bucket, and he's not scared. Played really good yesterday or this weekend at the uh, Hoop Fest. Played really good. Uh, Connor Newton is 5'7", signed with University of Central Oklahoma, I believe. I'm going to call him a shooting guard. I don't care how tall he is. Uh, the kid will outshoot you. He's quick. He plays defense. Connor Newton wears his heart on his sleeve every game. And when you're his size, is kind of what you have to do, and you have to play like you're 6'5". Uh, he does that. Um, strength toughness determination he has it all and then we got to see uh the matchup uh this is put on by the circuit duncanville versus lake highlands was the big time game that night trey johnson versus ron holland ron holland just committed to texas uh big pickup for chris beard duncanville took the win yeah, yeah. 53 to 52 53 to 52 Duncanville beat Lake Highlands. It was a close one all game. Duncanville's toughness pulled through. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat them. They played Corona Centennial last night, um, who is Jared McCain. That's who he plays for. Uh, Duke commit. You know, it's, it's, they're going to be hard to beat. I think they won by two points last night, uh, but they beat the number two team and the number eight team in the nation this weekend. Uh, they beat the Boozer Twins. Duncanville's going to be a tough out for anybody because they 
score and they very very much defend and then another matchup game by the circuit uh rock hill versus hillcrest uh, i've already talked about hillcrest but let's talk a little bit about rock hill rock hill has a guard named bj hooper bj is a 6-3 combo guard he's playing really well this year averaging like he had a game where he had 25 and then he had one where he had 35 or something like that out outrageous numbers but he can really get to it they got a big man transferred over there this year his name is cj dennis big time rebounder he played for the mustangs him and connor uh newton played together and parker hannah um but cj dennis um big time rebounder he's not a he doesn't have the biggest body but he's very strong and he plays good down low he does everything that you want in your big man he does uh so i love guys like cj dennis who just play tough and do what they need to do down low to help their team byron nelson birdville finley bizjack garrick norman garrick norman's going to michigan state finley bizjack took over in the second half and it was over you know it is what it is i told you already if you're gonna let him do whatever he wants and you know it's hard to stop because he can really create his own shot very well. Putnam City North, I watched them play Legacy. Legacy, they played a lot of games in a lot of in a few days, and we're on like two flights. Uh, coach had to take the van from Arizona to Texas with their luggage. They were playing on tired legs. I'll give them that. They're and eh, no, I'm not going to do that because they they competed. Um, Corey Skillman had 19 in that game, I believe. That's when I saw him play very good. Um, but Putnam City North has a kid named C.J. Smith. I, w- I don't know why I want to call him C.J. C.J. Davis. C.J. Smith. Putnam City North. Big man. Can play in the paint. He hit three threes in that game. Uh, had a big time alley oop dunk. Just played good. Uh, this past week, I went out to Haltom City. And watched Haltom play Grapevine. Grapevine has two kids that are twins that are freshmen. Um, Armand and Antoine Almatar. They are the toughest freshman kids I've seen. They are physically gifted. And they are very, very, very mature beyond their years. The upperclassmen look to them. You know, I saw one of them come off the bench or come off the floor after he fouled out, apologized to all his teammates. That, like, stood out to me. I've never seen that. But from a kid that's maybe 14 or 15 to be doing that, that's uh, he, uh, nothing but good things to say about that. The kids are good. Um, Kowal attack for Haltom. Uh, you're talking 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, um, skinny frame, but is probably the best big man shooter in the country. Uh, the kid, every shot looks like it's going in. Sweet stroke, soft touch. I got a lot of games this week. I'm going to actually film a NAIA game tomorrow night. Paul Quinn versus Oklahoma City University. My guy Avery Jackson plays for that team. Shout out Coach Espinoza. Shout out Coach Barakoff. On Tuesday, I will be at Emerson High School in McKinney. Uh, Saxe versus Emerson. I don't know where I'll be at later in the week, but... uh. Thank you all for coming through and listening. I'll be doing more stuff like this, so let me know if you like it. Leave a comment. Make sure you like the the page. Turn your notification on, man. I need the subscribers to go up. Turn the notifications on. Like the video. Comment on it. Thank you for the three hoops. My name is Craig Smith. Peace.